Ralph, the first suspect I'm going to talk about in this roundup of arrests here in Caldwell County faces multiple drug charges. 38 year old Jason Brad Earp of Nutridge Lane in Lenore was arrested by Lenore police officers Monday on one felony count of possession of methamphetamine and two misdemeanor counts of possession of drug paraphernalia and possession of marijuana up to half an ounce. He's also charged with fictitious or altered title registration card or tag providing fictitious information to a police officer, driving while license revoked, and two counts of failure to appear. Earp was taken to the Caldwell County Detention Center, where bond was set at $64,000 secured. A district court appearance is scheduled for May 6th. 20-year-old Joshua Michael Shukas of Woodmont Court in Lenore was arrested Monday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with four felony counts of probation violation and one felony count of interference with an electronic monitoring device. Shukas was taken to the Caldwell County Detention Center with bond set at $45,000 secured. He has superior court dates April 29th and July 22nd. The district court date is scheduled for May 23rd. The next suspect is charged with a vehicle break-in count, among other charges. 43-year-old Bradford Lydell Cash of Eastview Street in Morganton was arrested last Friday by Lenore police officers on one felony count of breaking and entering into a motor vehicle and one felony count of larceny. He's also charged with one misdemeanor count of resist, delay, and obstruct a public officer. Cash was placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center with bonds set at $17,500 secured. A district court date is scheduled for May 6th. Another is set for May 16th. 23-year-old Chase Nathaniel Webb of Hayes Street in Lenore was arrested Monday by Lenore police officers. He's charged with one felony count of larceny of a firearm and one felony count of possession of a stolen firearm. Webb was placed in the Caldwell County Detention Center following the arrest under $9,000 secured bond. He was scheduled to appear in district court in Lenore yesterday. Reporting from Caldwell County for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Back to you.